Hello and welcome to the MBS show, episode number 361. I am your host, Norman Sanzo, and today we are going to have another fun news week, I think. <laughs> so anywho, let's, right, let's hop right into the news. So, um, in news, Jim Miller reveals writer f- uh, writers and special surprise for episode 200. As of recording, we are on the precipice of episode 200, which is on a Saturday. Uh, Saturday the what now? Uh, 20th of April, yes. So, I'm recording this a few hours beforehand, so I got no real idea. So, we'll have to wait and see in a few hours. But when this episode comes out, this podcast actually... Uh, comes out, it'll be on the Saturday, on the 22nd, no, uh, the, the, the 23rd probably, I'm thinking, uh, 23rd or 23rd, no, today's the 20th, so that means it'll be on the 22nd or 23rd, oh, wow, my math is so off, but anyway, uh, we'll be probably timing on myself. So, the fact of the matter is, Big Jim Miller, he tweeted a while back in what, uh, I'm sorry, he tweeted something, um, and tweet goes like this, Back in the fall of 2017, we got Andrea Lipman, Ashley Ball, Tabitha St. Germain, Katie Westrup, and Tara Strong via Skype in a boardroom at DHX and asked them to tell us the things they always wish their characters have been able to do but hadn't, but sorry, but had not yet done on the series. And he follows that up with, they were a lot of great fun and funny ideas. We narrowed them down to the ones we like best and Josh Haber and Nicole DeBunk went off and wrote a great script that incorporates those ideas into a cohesive narrative. And uh, he ends it off with The end result is another unique and, dare I say, especially funny episode. All the voice actresses who help us out are mm, receiving a story by credit. Ooh, that's cool. We hope you enjoy this special milestone episode. Hashtag MLP Season 9. Hashtag MLP 200. So... I read a bit of the synopsis for uh, this 200th episode and I won't bother telling you guys at home uh, spoilers and whatnot because <laughs> when this podcast comes out, we have already seen it. So past me, which is present me, has not seen it yet. So I'm going in blind. I know a few snippets here and there, but overall, I, I got no idea. But future me would have gone and say, ha ha, that was a very fun episode. I like that part. Remember that part with the one thing that happens to that one pony? Ha ha ha. Oh, much fun. Ha <laughs> ha. But <laughs> honestly, um, I got no idea what's going to happen. But I, I do like that the... Sorry, I, I do like that we had, what, nine years or ten years? I think, what, nine years. Nine years. I, I do like that we had had nine years of ponies where our voice actress had things that they still want to do with the characters that they play. Just imagine that working for X amount of episodes, 200 episodes, and still not being able to do the things that you want to do with the characters that you have. Um, for example, we, we got what um, Rainbow Dash acting like Rarity, we got what Rarity acting like uh, Applejack, and Applejack acting all sophisticated and stuff, and we also got um, Fluttershy raging. So we we have that. Ooh, sorry, we we have those things that we want to see the characters do and um, do. Obviously, there are some things that we'll never see, which is our main character being in love, getting a boyfriend slash girlfriend or whatever it is, 
So probably we won't have those because of reasons. And yeah, we, we have to see, wait and see for this one. I, I'm excited because this is the 200th episode and I'm very happy to be watching it because we here, or we, we the fans, have been following the series for almost nine years now and we enjoy every... Um, what's the word? Um, we enjoy every bump on the road something like that. I, I forgot the saying but yes I really do sorry I am really excited for this one and it's tonight in a few hours so I can't wait I can't wait it's just going to be awesome it's just going to be awesome and moving on to the next news close this one and let's see uh, My Little Pony dominating the meme chart for years yes so meme lords out there oh boy so anyway um there's this video online i forgot to who did it i'm sorry um i i saw it before but i don't remember who did the video but one one thing i can say is it is an interesting uh, video where the creator um compiled all the memes that were that were on uh, Know Your Memes and he did this kind of video where uh, as you can see there's charts and tables it um, expands and whatnot like and it resets because of well uh, what's the popular meme for August of 2011 and then in uh, September what's that meme going on blah 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 and as it goes on, you can see what people are enjoying or what people are uh, memeing about. Uh, we had Homestar Runner, and then we had what we here is Velociraptor, Yao Ming Face, and, and so on. Like these are just examples of memes that were kind of popular and still are. I mean, Migusta is still there. Is Migusta still there? No. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Trollface, Forever Alone, Nyan Cat, My Little Pony, and so on. But since this is a pony podcast, or in a pony show, uh, ponies, uh, it started in what? In October of 2010. And, sorry, to be more exact, it's uh, October 10th of 2010. Really nice number there. But anyway, um, the show came out then so nothing was n nothing was there yet so they were building up and building up and building up and it seems to be dominating till now it, it go that it went down and up went down and up but it seems that ponies seems to be there like it's not stopping uh, my little pony friendship is magic seems to be a memeable thing in all honesty, I am not up to date with the memes. Like, I go on Facebook sometimes, I see people doing memes of stuff. Like, remember way back when, like, what, last year or two years ago, when Avenger Infinity War came out and um, the whole Thanos thing happened? So that was kind of a meme. And then we had the... <sighs> See, I, I'm not up to date with the memes like the young kids are. I, I'm almost quote unquote old. I, I guess I'm old. I'm not hip and cool, y'all. <laughs> but now, um, getting back on track. <clears throat> My Little Pony, it's fun. Like, if you are enjoying it in. Yeah, if you're enjoying it, no matter its shape and form. As long as it's not hurting people, then good on you. And you should just enjoy it. Like, enjoy it in the meme form. Enjoy it in the cartoon, toys, comic books, fan works. Fan, yeah, fan work does compile into fan art, music, com writing, so on. Yeah. You should just be happy that you are, well, a fan. And the memes here, they are there. Oh, man. I just remember, I remember meme. Um... Starlight, Starlight's um, icy face. That, that was a good one. I love that one. 
Uh, I remember who made it. Um, not Red Bubble, but some T-shirt. Pl- yeah, <laughs> Tea Public. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Tea Public. They did that one. I think a fan did it something. But yeah, uh, that that was good. I, I really should have buy bought that shirt. It should be fun. <laughs> yeah, but um, but anywho, let's head on to the favorite topic and said topic is what have we sorry, <laughs> what have I been doing for my week so in this week uh sorry this week this week nothing much really um you know honestly I got a haircut as you can see um my my hair here is a bit thin and I'm going to do the reveal in three <laughs> two one yay so yeah, as you can see, I cut it short, and the reason is, I like my hair short. I don't like having this jumbled mess of a thing where I have to um, comb it or whatever. Like this, really, just kind of you know, it's simple. And the hat gimmick thing is, I just like to wear hats. <laughs> so anywho, um. What I have been doing with my week is I've been playing a game, but it's not the game that you guys are thinking of. Um, if you guys remember last week, I mentioned that I've been playing Resident Evil 2 Remake and I finished Leon's, uh, sorry, uh, I finished Claire's campaign and I'm going through Leon's and that is true until I started playing Dark Souls 2. <laughs> And um, it's not even the Prepare to Die edition or um, so Scholar the First Sin. Um, it's just normal Dark Souls 2. And I bought that game a while back ago, man. Like, really a while back. Because um, I saw two best friends play the game. And I thought like, hey, I should probably play this because it looks like a lot of fun. I did. And I quit almost near the end, something like that, just because I couldn't really cut it. And um, took me what about three years to pick it up again. And thought to myself, hey, um, why not just try and play this? And since there's a lot of guides out there, um, what was this? I think what when I was playing Dark Souls two, Dark Souls three was not out. Bloodborne was not out and Sekiro was not out so you can just imagine how long that was so um, yeah playing Dark Souls 2 again it is a fun game if you like those Souls type games well probably you've already played it and probably enjoyed it but yeah if you are into the whole game is hard just because it's hard kind of thing you should probably go try it out if not ah uh, no man like it's not for you like don't touch it oh uh if i do remember right they did a hd remake for um dark souls 2 for the modern consoles ps4 and xbox one yes but other than that um i've hmm no movies this week uh talking about movies I'll probably no no it was, it's not a probably I will go and watch Avengers Endgame on release that is the twenty fourth I remember twenty fourth of um April something like that yeah you know I'm just gonna go it on release day and me and my movie buddies uh, are going to go and we are going to enjoy the movie uh, funny thing is that. When I heard my friend say that, hey, um, this movie, um, we better buy tickets now because people are just nabbing them seats, like, just pre-booked for whatever reason because it's the hypest thing on the world or something like that. And I thought to myself, oh, how bad could this be? go to the movie website try to buy the ticket and oh my goodness this is terrible like oh my gosh like there's no 
uh, there's no more seats and uh, oh oh goodness me goodness me so I just told my friend oh um yo bro movie around this time this is like bad like how do we do this I mean I, I got no idea and we, we just says like oh sorry he just says um, you know what let's just wait for a bit and see how things go and at the same time too uh, we were going to go watch Shazam I was going to buy tickets online so I did that and on the day that we watched Shazam we just walk around and I just say to my friend yo uh, why don't we go to the self um, purchase ticket to counter you know just for the funsy see what we can do maybe, maybe we can try and think of something so we did we go to the self service thing where we press the screen movies and everything and then um unbeknownst to me my friend was willing to take the day off or switch places with another co-worker so i thought that he could only watch the movie at night so i told him like yo bro look the movie at night is kind of bad like this is terrible and he just says why, why not around 2 p.m like 2 15 p.m whatever it is H how's that like just click and oh goodness there's some few seats there and i told him hey this one is the center it's in the middle it's not bad we're not gonna crank our head that high like oh no so he says yeah why not it's gonna be fun and we purchased the ticket no fuss and yeah we are going to watch it on the day just for funsies i went online and tried to book tickets to the same theater same um time and whatever it is and available sittings were at the front <laughs> uh, oh boys uh, i got no idea what to say and um, some of you out there may have known that somehow S Avengers Endgame got leaked. I'm not 100% sure how true is that. I know one of our Patreon members told me about it. And yeah, I honestly got no idea what to say because I'm going to go into this movie clean. I've, don't, I've not seen any trailers beyond the first one where i don't remember I, I i'm just going to go draw a blank because i don't want to get spoiled <laughs> well so hey anywho yeah um next week is going to be fun or this week when this episode comes out it's wibbly wobbly time you want me stuff so anywho yeah um that's the end of the show so let's end this now <laughs> so if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at themvshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show, And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyVLive.com. Links are in the show notes. You can also subscribe to the Review and Discussion Podcast on iTunes and Stitch Radio. Over there, you'll catch me, Silver Quill, Sapphire Heart Song, and Torterra reviewing the Pony episodes, comics, movies, and whatever is in between. Sometimes we like to talk about animes, cartoons, comic books. Um, for comic books, I think we did uh, the Darkwing Duck series, Darkwing Duck slash Duck Tales. And then uh, for anime, we did a lot. Um, we did something like Little Witch. We did um, Pokemons. I know Pokemon is kind of a cartoon, but to me, it's slash anime because Japan. And for movies, we did a lot, I think. Uh, we, we did The Princess Bride. That was fun. Uh, and we also did Kung Pao Into the Fist. So, yeah, we try to expand do other stuff because for funsies also um next episode will be the season 8 finale that one is 
still in the planning stage that means we haven't recorded anything yet uh, as for now this week silver is in BAPSCON no see he here's the problem we believe why we need time we need stuff uh, when I say now it's going to be the last weekend and like I said we believe why we need time we need stuff but anyway um, soon we'll be recording that one it's going to be a lot of fun uh, after that we'll probably do something about our overall thoughts about season 8 and discussions and whatnot. yeah that'll be fun so um, what else what else what else yes if you would like to support the show you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show with every support you'll get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts exclusive and deleted content and a huge thank you from me talking about thank yous I would like to thank Amy Lucky Knight Tristan Starstream Jeffrey and my stuff like thank you so much guys you have been really kind to me i am speechless like in all honesty you guys are just awesome you, you guys give me the motivation to keep on going Ooh, sorry it's even without the patreon i'll still do it but knowing that you guys are supporting me like this helping me with little stuff like getting the comics for reviews and just having that insurance if i need anything or if i need to purchase anything for the podcast um for for information i'll disclose this to everyone all the money or all the support that the patreons support to me only go for the comics for now i haven't used it for anything else but i thank you guys so much for it who knows sometime in the future i may need to purchase a new microphone it'll be there and yeah who who knows who who knows right for now the confirmation or the constant thing is comics but probably if knock on wood if my microphone breaks i have to buy a new one and the patrons are going to help me so thank you so much guys i you guys got no idea how much i appreciate you guys and also to you um normal audience the youtubes and also itunes slash teacher radio i appreciate you guys thank you for sticking around and listening to me babble on with a friend or solo and talking about ponies and yeah i, I thank you so much guys even though if you haven't been commenting or haven't been what you call this uh saying much like just keeping to yourself i, I know i do that all the time too and I listen to my podcast but still I appreciate you guys out there listening and if you're listening this on the YouTube just give me a thumbs up like I I know that you are out there listening and enjoying the content yeah thank you so much oh boys oh man that was a heartfelt moment for a bit but anywho I have been Norman Sanzo and We'll guys catch you guys next week with another fun episode of the MBS show. Anyway, signing off. See ya.